Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to bundle animations, and also how to bundle animated characters to import into Yansom. This video is a two-in-one, so it'll be split for each tutorial. And, before we start, please keep in mind that this tutorial is strictly for anim files. That's the only type of animation file I'll be covering today. First, create a new project in Unity and name it whatever you want. When it opens, right-click in this area. Go to Import Package, then Custom Package and select the Bundle Unity Package. The link for it will be in the description if you don't have this. When this appears, just click on Import. You should see both of these folders when it's done. Now, let's import our animation. Right-click here again, and this time click on Import New Asset. Select your animation that you want to bundle. Right-click again, then select Create, then Folder. Name the folder whatever you want. After that, drag the animation into the folder. Now click on the folder, and go to the bottom right. In this spot, you can name it whatever you want. Here you have to put Unity 3D, just like you see me do. When you're done, go to the top left. Click on Bundle, then Build Asset Bundles. Congrats! You've just bundled your animation. Let me show you how to put it in game now. First off, look for the file here that's completely white and has the name you wrote. This is mine here. Take that file and drag it into your PoseMod folder. If the file isn't a Unity 3D file when you put it in your folder for some reason, just put .unity 3D at the end of it, like you see me to here. Now, for the commands. These are the commands to change Yanchen's animations. These are for students. Since I want to change Yanchen's idle animation, these are the only commands I'm gonna use. This line is necessary for every animation you bundle FYI. File name is where you put the name of the Unity 3D file. Copy and paste it here. Anim name is the name of your animation file. Copy and paste it here. When you're done, save the text file. Let's see it in-game now. Works just fine, as you can see. On to the next tutorial. Right-click in this area, go to Import Package, Custom Package, and import the Bundle Unity Package. Link for it is in the description. When this comes up, just press Import. Let's start importing the character now. For me, I am just gonna do a random student. So, right-click and press Import New Asset. First, let's select the body model. Note that it must be a rigged model. Drag it from here over to the Hierarchy panel. Now go to the right, right-click on this, and press Remove Component. Now press Add Component. Search for Animation, and click on it. Let's add the animation now. Right-click and go to Import New Asset again, and import your animation. Next, click on the body model on the left, then, drag your animation over to this area. Let's test it out. To see if your model is moving or not, press this Play button up here. Then press Scene. If your model isn't moving, don't worry, there's a solution for that. You're gonna need to come out of play mode by pressing the play button again. Go to the left and click on the drop down arrows until you see pelvis root. Take it and drag it above armature. Press continue when this comes up. Should look like this now. Now go back to play mode again by pressing the play button. Yeah she's moving now. Also, here's a tip. If you want your animation on the character to be looping, click on the animation then go to the right and change the wrap mode to loop. Great, we're done making her animate. Let's texture her now. Right-click, Import New Asset, and import your body and face textures. Right-click again, go to Create, then select Material. On the top right, press Standard, go to Tune, and choose Lighted Outline. Drag this straight to the left, then press this. Go to the left, and choose your texture. Now drag the material onto the body. Do the same thing for the face texture. Now I'm gonna show you how to add hair and accessories onto the character. Right-click and import your hair and accessory models and their textures. Let's deal with the hair first. Drag your model over here. If the hair isn't already on top the head correctly for you, then you'll have to play around with these position numbers over here until it fits properly. Texturing the hair is the same way as before. Now to attach the hair onto the character's head, go over here and click these drop down arrows all the way until you get to head. Drag your hair model from under hair to right under head. Let's see if it fits properly. Yup, it's good. Onto the accessory. Take your model and drag it over here again. And texture it. Now, accessories can be on any bone. 
For me, it's on the right forearm. So I'm going to drag it under where it says right forearm. I do not know what bone your accessory is going to be on. If you don't know either, just keep attaching it to different places until it looks right. Let's see if hers is good. Yes, it's perfect. Okay, we're done customizing the character. Let's bundle her and put her in-game now. Drag your body model from the hierarchy panel down to the bottom here. Then go to the bottom right. In this spot, you can name it whatever you want. Over here, you must name it Unity 3D, like you see me to here. After that, go to the top left. Click on Bundle, then Build Asset Bundles. Great, let's put her in-game now. Down here, look for the plain white file that has the name you wrote. This is mine. Take that file and drag it into your PoseMod folder. If the file doesn't have .unity 3D at the end, just add it in, like you see me do. To add your model into the game, these are the commands you use. File name is the name of your Unity file, copy and paste it here. Name in Unity is the name of your model while it's in Unity, this is it, you can copy it from here. New name is literally whatever you want. Paste it here. These are the coordinates of where your model is going to stand. To get them, go into the game and open the pose mod menu by pressing X. Press stuff, go to the next page, and put show GUI on. The coordinates are in the top left. These first three are the position. These are the rotation. Go to the spot where you want the character to stand and put those coordinates in the command. When you're done, save the text file and run the command. See, she's here now. Everything works just fine. That's all. I hope this video helped you. Links will be in the description. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions, or you can ask in the Discord server. Bye bye.